The mayor and the chief made those comments today at a pre-planned press conference to talk about the worsening crisis of organized retail crime, which they say often becomes what we saw last night at Giovanni's. Law enforcement, the AG's office, and local retailers have been working together on an online database to try to track criminal activity at retail stores. If one store notices a shoplifter, they can upload videos and photos to the portal. Then police know who to be on the lookout for and other stores are on alert in case that person comes in. It also allows the AG's office to have immediate access to evidence and prosecute these cases. Everyone who spoke today highlighted how these crimes, shoplifting and theft, escalate, with many of these people now carrying guns, and it can turn into what happened last night. Attorney General Hector Balvetas blasted state lawmakers, saying they have been asleep at the wheel and haven't taken enough action to address the laws that could take these people off the streets. We are right now doing it without the legislature funding or partnering with us. And I'm pissed off about it. And the media and the general citizens need to be aware of where the failure has been. We have officers overwhelmed. We have minimum wage workers having guns wielded in their, in their faces on a daily basis. And people are very frustrated. Now, the chief says there have been at least 100 arrests linked to this new system. One of them we just highlighted, Kelly Shugart. She has 70 charges alone. The chief says there are many more offenders like her out there. We'll obviously be continuing to cover these stories throughout the day as we learn more.